Dr. Jerry Umanos loved the Afghan people. He'd been working in the country for the last seven years through the Christian organization Cure International. His wife says it was his calling. He always had a desire to be the hands and feet of Christ. He was always a light for Christ, and he had a love and commitment that he expressed for the Afghan people because of that love for Christ. The Cure International Hospital was founded in 2005 by invitation of the Afghan Health Ministry, and it treats about 37,000 patients a year. Two years ago, Dr. Yumano spoke about the lives the hospital has helped save. Most of these kids here would be, would be dead. There's very few other facilities that can take care of kids this small and do well. His wife says her husband would want others to open their hearts to the Afghan people, just as he did and she offered a message of forgiveness to the gunman. Our family has suffered a great loss. We don't hold any ill will towards Afghanistan in general, or even the gunman who did this. Investigators are still trying to find a motive for the shooting. The gunman was taken into custody after being treated by the very hospital he attacked. He shot himself after the attack. He was initially treated at the Cure Hospital and has now been transferred out of our facility into the custody of the government of Afghanistan. Along with Dr. Yumanos, two other American doctors, a father and son, were also killed, and a female health care worker was injured. Please join us in praying for the families of the victims and those affected by the shooting, as well as the peace in Afghanistan. Caitlin Burke, CBN News.